Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. This is Pradeep and you're watching Log of Note. So if all of the rumors about the Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus or Pro sound like Greek and Latin to you, you're in luck because today we have more rumors and they are in Greek. Let's get started. So this rumor on this Greek website, there is a link in the description right next to the like button, has a lot of information about the Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus. So the Note 10, the regular old Note 10, I think this one is going to be called the Note 10 E because of the features. It has a 6.3 inch display, only full HD plus though. So that's 1080p. Usually Samsung phones, the flagship ones, have a 1440p by 2960 display, which is because of Samsung's weird aspect ratio. So this one only has a full HD plus display. You're practically going to be able to see all of the pixels on it. It also weighs about 168 grams, which is good, I guess. It has 25 watt fast charging, but unfortunately no support for 45 watt super fast charging. And it has only a 3500 mAh battery. The Note 10 Plus or Pro has a 6.75 inch display. I think this is the phone that most people will want to get. It has a 4300 mAh battery, which is massive. It has support for 25 watt fast charging as well as 45 watt super fast charging. Unfortunately, the charger is not included in the packaging. It weighs about 198 grams and it has a Quad HD Plus display. Dear Samsung, if you're going to be copying features from Apple, please don't copy the lack of a headphone jack and please don't copy the fact that they sell their super fast charger separately apart from the packaging of the iPhone. Copy all the good things, like not mistaking your sister for you on the Face ID system. Some other interesting features that are in the rumors are the fact that the 12 GB RAM will be standard on all of the Note 10 Plus versions, which is good, I guess, although a little bit overkill. The S Pen will have some interesting features, including Air Command, where you can wave your S Pen over the display and the gallery will move. Also, in a bizarre twist, when you write on the display using the S Pen, it will make a squeaky sound like a marker. Anyway, the zoom audio is an interesting camera feature where you can tap on a particular portion of the display while shooting a video and the camera will tune into that audio while tuning out all of the other audio. It also has live focus video as standard with a TOF or time of flight sensor on the Note 10 Plus. Also, it has night mode on the selfie camera. Now, quickly comparing it to the Note 9, there is a link in the description to the Amazon page. Although Samsung, if you're about to launch the next phone, can you at least reduce the price of your current flagship Note 9 so that people who go onto Amazon and try to buy the latest Note phone without being clued into your release cycles don't make a horrible mistake. The Note 9 had a 6.4 inch Quad HD Plus display with a 4000 mAh battery. It weighed about 201 grams and unfortunately it only charged at 15 watt. But it did have the headphone jack. Now, the first question I have for you today is does the extra RAM justify the lack of the jack? In my opinion, no, it does not because I think that iOS phones are able to manage with 3 or 4 gigabytes of RAM but most Android phones need about 6 or 8 gigabytes of RAM. Anything more than that is just the manufacturer flexing. The next question is does the extra battery justify the lack of the jack? And in my opinion, again, no. So first of all, you're going to need that extra battery in order to connect to your wireless Bluetooth earbuds. But on the other hand, the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, which launched this year, had a 6.4 inch display, Quad HD Plus, and a 4100 mAh battery, but still managed to retain the headphone jack. The third question that I have for you today is do the extra features like the S Pen squeaky sound, the enhanced camera module and the Exynos 9825 processor justify the lack of a jack. And here, my opinion is a little bit split. See, I don't care much for the S Pen or the enhanced camera module, but I do care for the better processor. The Exynos 9825 for the first time takes the Exynos multi-core score above 10,000. And if Samsung had to make the processor bigger in order to accommodate that, then I think I can forgive them for the lack of a jack. But that's just me. Let me know in the comment section what you think. 
Forgetting about all of this for a second, if we imagine that Samsung got rid of the jack not for any logical reason but because they believed that they have now solved the true wireless earbuds problem with the Galaxy Buds, I will remind you that even after multiple software updates, even after they advertise the fact that the Galaxy Buds are designed for talking, it looks like the voice call quality on the Galaxy Buds is still pretty bad. Anyway, that's about it for this video, guys. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, drop your comments down below, share this video with your friends who are looking to buy a Note 10, subscribe to the Vlog of Note channel on YouTube, ring that notification bell so that you never miss a video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Oh, and if you're still here, please go over to Instagram and follow my wife's Instagram account. There is a link in the description. It's her birthday today and she's the one that makes this channel possible.